So what's going on in the Bend real estate market? That's what we're going to talk about today. Are home prices actually going up or are they coming down? Which is true? Hi, I'm Norris Bangler with Rogue Real Estate and I've been a realtor here in Bend for about seven years. I've seen the prices go up and down and if you're looking to buy a home in Bend, I want you to be really informed and to know what is going on with prices, days on market, all the statistics. So we are going to take a look at what happened in November, but we're also going to look at the 12 month average numbers. So that's a little bit different than I normally do, but I think it's important to get a broader look at the numbers. So here we go. So let's look at the number that most people want to hear about, which is the median sale price. I'm only talking about the city of Bend single family home. So no townhomes, condos, none of that. So the median sale price dropped a little bit in November, which if you're a buyer, you're probably very happy about that. Just 1% though. And we are down about 3% uh, month to month. So if you look at a year ago, November, to this November, those two numbers are, we're down about 3%. But overall, if you look back over the past couple years, our home prices are still trending upward, okay? We are not crashing, our home prices are not falling by like 20, 30, 40%. Believe me, homes are still selling fairly well and they're selling for a good price a more fair price right now probably than earlier in the year. So right now home prices are much more reasonable and I'll tell you in just a minute about how you can get a discount on a home in Bend. How many homes do we have for sale? Well, our inventory in November dropped about 16% from October to November totally normal for this time of year. Our inventory will continue to go down probably through even February. Then it will start to pick up for the spring market. But our inventory number is actually up 28% over a year ago. And that's mainly due to the length of time homes are staying on the market. So we'll get to that number in just a second. The number of homes that are pending in November or went under contract is down about 13% from October. Once again, that's pretty normal for this time of year. And that number is down 42% from a year ago. So definitely our market is much slower than in 2021, but that's not a big surprise with everything going on in the economy and interest rates and just all the uncertainty. I think a lot of people are just not shopping for a home this year or this winter. They're just sitting and they're waiting until next year maybe. We'll talk about that a little bit more. If you're interested in Bend real estate, statistics, just what it's like to live in Bend, give this video a like. That helps my channel grow. Click that subscribe button and the notification bell and then you'll get notified every time I make a new video. What about the number of sold homes? Same thing as pending. It's our sold numbers are down about 15% from October to November, and they're off about 35% from 2021 November. That's a significant drop off, but it does not signify a crash. It signifies a slowdown in the market and a lot of uncertainty. As you know, with the Fed and interest rates, people are just really uncertain about what's going to happen, and they're kind of just not doing anything right now. So days on market, how long is it taking to sell a home in November of 2022? Well, let's look back a year ago where the days on market was only 12 days. So we're up a lot from that. This month or November, it was 29 days. So significantly higher, but actually pretty normal for the winter time. It's actually still on the low side. So 30 to 50 days is pretty typical for us in the winter months. So we're still kind of on the low side for days on market, but it's definitely taking a little bit longer than it has in the past 
few months and even in the past couple years. So let's talk about the discounted home price that I mentioned earlier. There's a statistic called the median percentage of original sale price. So what that tells us is how much of a discount are sellers giving to buyers in the current market. Now, typically in Bend, that number is around 100%. And during the pandemic, it went way up to a high of over 103%. So that tells us that people were bidding up and well overpaying for homes during uh, the pandemic years. So that is not the case right now. Right now, the percentage of original price number for November is down 3.5% from a year ago to 95.5%. So that tells me that a lot of people are getting a discount basically on the price of a home. In other words, the original listed price, which let's just take an example, homes that sold in the last six months, the least expensive home sold for $429,000, but it was originally listed for $545. That is a whopping discount of about 21%. So if you don't believe me that now is a good time to buy a home, well, I just don't know what to tell you. Homes are being discounted, prices are coming down on individual homes. That was my dog shaking her ears back there. It just depends on the seller's motivation. So obviously that seller was motivated and they lowered the price of their home and someone got a great deal. So right now, um, if you're looking in that under $500,000 price point in Bend, there are only about 13 homes in that price range. I don't think those homes are going to be available next spring and summer. I believe our prices are going to pop back up. People are going to jump back into the market and we don't really know what's going to happen with interest rates, but if they stabilize and stay in that mm, five and a half to six and a half percent range, I think a lot of buyers out there are going to just jump into the market. They've been waiting and if things seem stable and their income and job situation is stable, um, and they've been renting, they're tired of paying that money to rent. I really think our market is going to pick up in the spring and summer of next year. And with that, more competition, prices will probably go up. So I really think for buyers right now is a great opportunity, winter and early spring. So to answer the question on my thumbnail, are prices going up or are they dropping? by 14% or so. Well, actually, both things are true. If you look at the longer range data, average over 12 months, our prices are going up, which is great. If you've invested here or if you're looking to invest in a home, that's really what you want in the long term is you want growth. Now, on the other side, when you're buying, you might think you want prices to fall. However, if interest rates drop, and prices fell, I don't think they're going to, if they did, then what you would have is everybody, the brother and their cousin and you <laughs> piling back into the market and we would end up right where we were in the pandemic with bidding wars and you know, it would be really hard for you to get under contract on a home. So both things are true. Our prices are falling month over month and then we are up 14 or 15% ish um, when you look at the data over a longer period, when you average it out. So that seems like a better way in my mind to look at housing data is over the long term, since it is a long term investment. You shouldn't get too caught up in the numbers, the interest rate number, what the median price point was last month or this month. If you're thinking of buying a home in Bend, um, there are some pieces of good news. So here's the good news for both buyers and sellers in our current market situation. So good news for buyers is that there are very few people out buying homes right now. So if you get yourself ready and you're prepared, I would say the beginning of 2023 would be a great time to start looking at homes. Don't just sit on the sidelines and wait. Get out and look at homes. See what you can buy for your money. Understand the market, educate yourself, 
so that you're aware of what you're going to have to give and take, you know, in order to make your home purchase possible. Our low inventory numbers are not so great for buyers. However, the days on market of that inventory, um, they're staying on the market longer, which gives buyers a little more leeway to look at a few homes and make a decision. There's less competition right now. So right now is a great time for you to look for a home because fewer people are out there looking and there are homes that sellers really want to sell and they are going to negotiate with you. As I mentioned on that one home, the lowest price home that sold in the last six months, they got a 20% discount. So look for those opportunities where we can go a little bit lower than the asking price and see how much we can negotiate off that price for you. And there is a little bit of good news for sellers. While homes are taking a little bit longer to sell and you will need to be patient, um, winter time does usually bring very serious buyers. If someone's out during the holiday season or even early January, February in the snow, they are serious about buying. And so that is good for sellers. With the slight drop in home prices, what that does is brings more buyers into the pool for you. So that is, is not necessarily a bad thing that prices are coming down a little bit. The other thing that's good for sellers is that in the last week or so, interest rates have started coming down. Now we just don't know what the Fed is going to do and what mortgage lenders are going to be offering next year. There is a total mixed review, It's kind of 50-50. Half the experts say, interest rates are going to go up to maybe like 8% next year. And half of them say, nope, they're going to stabilize in the like five to six and a half percent range, which is historically normal or average. Having a little bit lower interest rates right now in December should help sellers sell their homes. It just gives that little window of opportunity for buyers to squeak in this year. So I hope you'll stay tuned to my channel and give this a thumbs up. Click that subscribe link down below. I hope to see you on my channel again next time.